G'day dads, welcome to Cooking with Cameron, coming to on the Father channel. Time to open up, time to get in the kitchen, and let's have a go at some steaks. G'day dads, great that you could join us in the kitchen tonight. Hope you're having a great week. My thumb's still bung, so I've got a different sous chef this week. How are you, Josiah? Good. Good. How's school? Good. Good. Now, you're doing... What are you doing at school? Woodwork. Woodwork. Dance and Japanese. And you're also doing home... Aren't you doing cooking stuff as well? I'm hoping to change my electives to food studies semester one. Food studies. Okay. So, he's going to get a lesson. Yesterday, we had a lesson in how to... Because you're doing woodwork. Got a lesson here. We build a, a woodshed. So, you'll learn a lesson on how to cook cut wood with a drop saw. Tonight you're going to get a lesson in making a marinade for some rumps, uh, for some steaks. I actually bought some porterhouse steaks this tonight. Yay. The reason I bought porterhouse, and you might think porterhouse, that's expensive. Rump was $23 a kilo, porterhouse was $25. For that extra two bucks, I think it's worth spending that little bit more money and getting a, a much it's, I find it, it's a nicer cut of meat. So tonight we've got, there's a bit of marbling. We're actually gonna trim off some of this fat, not a lot of it, but we're gonna That's make up, part. we're gonna make up a simple marinade, okay? It's gonna be an Asian inspired marinade. Now, the, we did a video the other day and we went to put garlic, uh, ginger in it and I opened the lid and it was, it was full of mold. We just hadn't used it. So we've got another jar, so it's ready to go. So we're gonna mix some oyster sauce, some soy, a little bit of ginger, some golden, golden syrup. syrup, just to give us, so we've got saltiness in the soy and also in the oyster, and that's gonna give us just that little bit of sweetness. And then, we've got and then we're gonna put a few drops of sesame oil in there, just to give it that, that bit more flavor. So if you, I'm gonna get a teaspoon, but can you pour, give a glug of that, glug of that, a few drops of that, and a good glug of that. Okay. We'll do this one. Yeah, so that's only, we're only gonna want about four drops. Because if you have a smell of that. Oh my. It's a, it's a really strong, strong flavor. Mm. So we'll slow down, because it's very runny. Okay, that's it. Whoa, 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 that's about three times the amount we needed. Sorry. No, that's okay. We're gonna have a very sesame oil flavored. Rightio, buddy. So that's, it's not a lot. Can you, you can stop stirring now. Okay. Okay, so that's not a lot of marinade but we don't we don't want to drown it no. we just want to coat it okay so let's just put that aside for the moment okay so what do we get how what are we gonna do with these steaks well well you said you were gonna cut we we're gonna cut a bit of the fat off yeah probably all we're probably gonna do is cut along that rind so I'll sort of show you right see how we've got that piece there oh, yeah. you can actually just get the knife and see how I'm just very I'm pulling at that meat Nice and easy like that. So you reckon you can do that with those those ones as well, mate? You can hold them. Yep, the, the other three pieces. Now, we haven't taken all the fat off because the fat's gonna actually grab some of the marinade and it's gonna add some flavor to it, okay? Okay, now, you either use the spoon or put your hands back in there and just get that meat and get the marinade all over it. It'll be slow doing it with the spoon. Yes. So use my hands. Yep, that's it. So we want to coat all that. Well, righty dads. The meat's going to, we can leave that, you can leave that overnight if you wanted to. We're only going to leave that for about 20, 30 minutes to marinate so that flavor is going to get into it. What does it smell like? What can you mainly smell? The, so, the sesame oil. A bit, a bit more sesame oil, yep. 
So it's an Asian inspired one. We're gonna set that aside. Now we're also gonna cook up some veggies to go with that. You've seen us cook veggies, so we're not gonna film that. But we've got, we're gonna boil some potato, dice some potatoes and boil it. And then we're gonna fry it off in some garlic butter. And we might do some sweet potato as that as well. Yeah. Um, we're gonna slice up some onion and cook that, or fry that with the, on the barbecue. And we'll see what other veggies we've got in the fridge. So anyway, dads, when we're gonna cook this up, we'll come back and talk to you then. Rightio, mate. That meat, oh, it's smelling beautiful. Still got that bit, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Oil. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. We've got that, so we've got some beautiful flavors in there. The, it's marinating, it's getting there. We've got the barbecue on, warming up. So we've got all the other veggies cooking. So it's time to start cooking that. Now, Dads, we're gonna cook that for probably, and I've done a video before where we did a minute, a minute, rest a minute, a minute, a minute, rest a minute. We're gonna cook this probably, we're gonna go back to my old style. We're gonna cook it until we see blood come up. And then we're gonna turn it over and it's only gonna be for another 60 seconds and then it comes off. So they're not gonna, they're only a thin bit of steak and that's gonna give us a medium steak, okay? Right here, buddy. How, do that, how does that look? Divine. Looks pretty darn good. Now, we've, we have we covered that in foil and we let that rest for as long as it took to actually fry off the potatoes. So we cooked it for three or four minutes, five minutes. We've let it rest. There's still some beautiful juices sitting in the tray. But anyway, you know what we're going to have to quickly do? What? Have a sneaky taste. No, we can't. Surely. We're gonna have a little sneaky taste. You can have a little sneaky taste. How's that? Oops, right in the teeth. That pretty good? Awesome. Look, Dads, marinades. They can come in all sorts of forms. What's your flavor? We do like the Asian style flavor. So we're, we're regularly cooking with the soy, the teriyaki's, oyster sauces we love that sort of flavorings comes together nice and quick gives a bit of a boost or some some steak and uh yeah i said just go and have a crack anyway dads we're gonna serve up till next time keep being great dads